to do it. I think doesn't it take like 24, 36 hours before they really get into you? So if you when you go out, just make sure strip down and just check your body over and you should be fine every time you're outside. Although it takes, you know, it takes work. It gets old after a while, I know, but that's one way to prevent it. Hot and humid today. Small chance, just a small chance of storm. We had that story before about the rumble of thunder head indoors. And remember, we will not. We will not give you a severe thunderstorm warning for lightning. It's only damaging wind potential and damaging hail. So any storm, by definition, has a chance for lightning. And if we see one today, although I think today's more of a showery type of precipitation, but if we do get a little thunder and you hear it, just stay inside. There's a good chance of showers and storms midweek, meaning Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And during those days, unlike today, which is in the 90s like yesterday and over the weekend, boy, it was a hot fourth. Highs will be in the 80s Tuesday through Thursday. But if you think it's going to be a little more un a little more comfortable, no. As a matter of fact, today the humidity level is just a tad lower than it'll be Tuesday and Wednesday. So it's uh, going to be in that steamy category. Even though the temperature is lower, it's going to feel very uncomfortable outside because of the high humidity. Right now, we're starting to pick up a couple fair weather cumulus clouds. We've had mostly sunny skies all morning. South winds at 8, still reporting mostly sunny at the airport. 10 mile visibility, 87 degrees. And as you look at things, very sunny here and some partly sunny skies. So what we're going to watch is maybe with the sea breeze too, some of these clouds coming in, maybe forming an isolated shower, thunder shower, first to the south and then drifting to the north. So we'll keep our eye and you watch to the south. A lot of times we get the storms from the west. Today they'll be coming up if we get any from the south. And you can see some in South Carolina. By the way, just wanted to show you for good measure, it is still Edward. It doesn't look very organized. Still a tropical storm as of 11 o'clock. Not expected to be one, and we're going to talk more about this. I'll show you the track and why I think it's going to go away in the next 24 hours and what else is happening in the tropics. We'll do that in the next half hour, but just mention that because it's the fifth storm of the season and the earliest we've had five storms in the year. Six. Yeah, five storms, not six. So let's hope we don't get the sixth one for a while. Uh, rays of sunshine at six today, this afternoon, with some partly cloudy skies. There, just for good measure, is that 20% isolated shower or thunderstorm. Heat indexes in the mid-90s will be 89 at 2 o'clock, 90 at 4, 88 at 6, 83 at 8, and then we're into the 70s with partly cloudy skies. So 91 in Raleigh, 90 in Durham, 91 in Fayetteville. Here's what we got going on the future cast. We showed you some of the showers already popping up and they line up nicely on our computer model. Little trough of low pressure down there. We've got high pressure off our coast. There's one, two, three showers that mm, kind of die out as they move to the north. There's really not much chance any Thing up in Virginia now this afternoon. Tomorrow, though, will especially to the south, a better chance. Scattered showers and storms will be possible for everybody, and you can see a better chance tomorrow than today. They'll be scattered, but they'll be out there. And then we're going to be mostly cloudy on Wednesday as this low stays close by and hangs out over South Carolina. Lots of clouds, and that's why it's going to be a little cooler, but a good chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms. As a matter of fact, I've gone 20, 40, 60. We're not going to go up to 80 after Wednesday. Don't worry about that. But 20% coverage area, about 40, and then likely on Wednesday. Temperatures, as I mentioned, the next three days after today will hold in the 80s. And then as we head toward Friday and Saturday, lower 90s again with still a chance of an afternoon shower storm Friday and Saturday. And then as we head into next Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we're in the lower 90s with a small chance of a storm. So all in all, just uh, once again, pretty typical July weather back there. Hey, I think we're going to the break because, you know, other Bill and Laura are standing by with more news, but they can't do that until we pay some bills.